Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and in this video, I am gonna show you how I made a witch's cauldron. So in my last video, I showed you making the uh, poison bottle or potion bottle. And so as part of this, um, this set, I'm doing the witch's cauldron. I am on the countdown for Halloween. Only a couple days left. Actually, tomorrow is the trunk or treat. So I'm just finishing that up. And if you're interested to see what I came up with, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I'm in serious last minute mode and I have a trunk or treat on Friday and it is Monday. And I am going to be a witch and my daughter is going to be a witch and I need a witch's cauldron. So I picked this up at this plastic one at Party City and it's pretty plasticky and fake looking. So I wanna make it look real. So Hi. what? And there she is. So I am going to take- My pet Luna is going to be my witch No, Luna's dog. not coming with us. Nope, she's not. So I'm going to take my, my Mod Frank Podge. going to be my cat. No. And I'm going to take like this chip brush and I'm going to dip it in here. And I'm just going to go all around and you don't have to be neat. Just get it all nice and thick and goopy. And I'm going to take my paper Whoever's towel. Whoever's watching this, remember, subscribe. <laughs> yep, subscribe. Remember? Yeah, that's a good thing. You know what? If, if you're not doing anything other than just watching real quick, hit that subscribe button. All right, so we are painting yeah, on. Yeah, and we don't just want you to. We want you to because we want subscribers. Well, we want to show you. We, we want you to see all the cool videos that we post every week. Yeah. Or I post. Sometimes she's with me in here. A lot of times she's not. But every Thursday I post a new video and I do all different kinds of things. If you want us to be wit, subscribe. <laughs> And if you like us, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. We always like to hear your feedback. If you can, do it right now. Do it right now. Well, not share. You can't share yet. Well, you could share yet, but you might want to see the finished product. All right, so we got that paper towel on. All right, guys, so I am going to speed this up because it took quite some time to get this Mod Podge all around and get these paper towels on. And so, um, you know, it doesn't matter what paper towel you use, whatever you have on hand. Um, mine are Berkeley Johnson brand from BJ's. You can use Bounty Brawny. It doesn't matter. Bobo brand, whatever. Whatever you have on hand um, is just fine. I don't tear them apart. I use both plies when I'm doing this. And I'm just, this is really it. You're just going to keep going all around the cauldron and mod podging and placing your paper towels, um, including over that handle. Um, so you're going to see in a minute where I go over that handle and I just really basically press the paper towel in there. And Aria's in there. I have, I don't even remember what she was talking about. She kept coming back and blah, 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 blah. So... I'm just gonna put some wonderful YouTube iMovie music on uh, while I finish up, um, up placing the paper towels. And I'm gonna do it until I get to the top rim. I'm not gonna do the top rim because I want this to dry. So um, because I'm doing this late, it will dry overnight and then I will come back in the morning and do the top rim. And then that will dry all day while I'm at work and um, then it will be ready to be painted.
Okay, so the paper towels and Mod Podge are all dry. I went and I took it outside and I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum's two times matte black. Now I'm gonna come in with um, a color called Bark Brown and Royal Gold. And so I am gonna do this much like I did with the bottle. I am just gonna take a chip brush and I am going to pounce all around the, um, the cauldron to, you know, imitate, you know, rusting, um, aged old look i'll do the brown i'll come in with the gold i'm actually even gonna later on like what um there were some spots that were a little too brown and gold so i went back over with some black acrylic paint um so this is really all you do until you achieve the look that you like so i'm just gonna throw on some music now and you can just stick around and watch or fast forward whatever you want to do so here we go
All right, guys, so I have some of this um, expandable foam that I am going to use around the rim here. And so I'm going to spray lightly and move pretty quickly around here. This stuff is supposed to expand. So I have no idea if this is going to look good, if this is going to work. I want this to be a bubbling cauldron stuff, so I'm going to go around. Oh boy. It's making noises. So you guys can't really see what I'm doing on this side. Now I'm going to... Hey, what's going on? Why are you... Oh boy. I'm going to spray this in. Hmm. I think it clogged already. I'm trying to get this to come out. Alright, I think we're good. I think I unclogged it. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, like, mold this stuff to look like drips. Going around. I've seen a lot of people use this. It looks pretty good. So, I'm gonna, just kinda come down here a little bit. This is supposed to expand, so I don't know how much I wanna do. Definitely want to get around this edge here. Well, it's definitely going to be interesting, if nothing else. Let's see, is this an expandable? Right, a big gap filler. Great stuff. Restartable straw. Start and use later. Hmm. All right. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. I'm gonna get around the inside room a little bit more. Kinda cool. Kinda messy. But I guess if something's overflowing and bubbling it's not really neat so all right so these are the ends and so this is going to be the front so I don't know that I'm going to worry about the back uh I think I'm just going to leave this I don't know let me see should I try to like no I don't need to fill in any gaps so you know what, I'm gonna leave this overnight and I'm gonna see what this looks like tomorrow um, and then get ready to um, do some painting of it. Okay, I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, so I got the foam is dry on this cauldron and I started to paint around here to see if this was gonna work. So I have, um, I don't have any fluorescent um, acrylic paints. So I took um, spray paint, a, I have a neon green spray paint and I sprayed it in this cup and I'm going around and it is working to um, paint this. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep going around 
and painting um, this foam, this green color. And so I don't know if I'm 100% happy with the way this foam came out. It's kind of weird. I want it more bubbly. I guess this can be whatever it wants to be. So maybe I'll like it more when it's painted green. So, um, so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm not gonna show you me painting the whole thing because it's a lot and it's gonna take some time and I'm probably going to have to spray in here a couple of times. So, you know, when you're using spray paint, it seems like there's a lot in the can until you go to spray it. And I think a lot of it missed out and it doesn't really make it into the cup. So, all right, I am gonna be, I am gonna be back when all of this is painted. All right, guys, my cauldron is done. Check this out. So it took me quite some time to hand paint the green on here, um, but I'm really actually glad that I did it that way because there is kind of, there's light and there's dark in here and some of the color of the foam kind of shows through. And you know what? I like that. So it just gives it, you know, some more texture, Sorry about that, I've got some lights in here. I, I really want to try to get some lights in here and um, some fog, but I think I'm gonna put candy in here so I can't do that with the candy. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put candy in and let the kid, the trick-or-treaters pull out of the bucket. Um, but, uh, you know, as an at-home decoration, I am gonna try to get one of those foggers. And I have some of these lights and I've been playing around with that. And um, I think I wanna mount them in there and then get a fogger so the steam or the fog's gonna come up. So that's something I'm gonna do at a later time because I am running out of time like really fast because next I am doing a spell book. So I will be posting that the day after I am posting this just in time for Halloween. Sorry it is really late guys and I'm like running right up to the wire but you know, you can always make this and have it for next year. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback, any ideas. I am always up for ideas and suggestions. Um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button for notifications of when I post my next videos. And that's it for now, guys. And I will see you all next time. Bye.